Hey guys, I'm in one of my favorite parts of the world, a drab car park in the middle of London. For those of you who can't recognize sarcasm when it's there, uh, I'll give you some time to figure it out. But um, I'm here in London, it's just rained, and I wanna talk about the really, really interesting correlation, the link between breathing and thought and how by understanding that there is a close relationship, I don't know whether it's 100%, 100%, but to know that there is a close relationship, and there seems to be a lot of evidence, a lot of scientific evidence to support the fact that there is a very close link between how fast your mind is moving, how chaotic your mind is, how centered your mind is, how active your thinking is, and how fast and how deep and uh, the opposite of that, how shallow and how slow your breathing is. And when you can see that relationship and you can put it into use, you have a lot of control over things that can cause obsessive thinking and anxiety and stress. Most of our stress, most of our anxiety is related to being out of control, being out of touch with our thought patterns, our thought processes. And I'm sure many of you are very used to letting thoughts unravel and go out of control. And when I say go, go out of control, I'm talking about that endless loop, that thinking about thinking and then thinking about worrying about thinking and thinking about fear and how endless and obsessive it can get in an endless need for us to find control. And of course, the real control is not in hooking into thought. It's not in engaging any of that thought because thoughts are always lies. They might be more, there might be some more realistic lies than others, um, and some lies that are closer to the truth than others, but ultimately a thought is simply a layer over reality, which is purely neutral. A thought is an opinion, a thought is subjective. And when we start getting wrapped up in subjectivity in life and we start putting labels on things and we start saying, oh, this is bad, this is terrible. Oh, look at me, I'm so-and-so. Oh, look at me, I'm not made for uh, conversations. Um, in public with other people because it's scary or I'm not made for interviews and I'm not made for doing podcasts, I'm not made for getting on a stage. Start getting back to the power of breath work. Uh, there are some good books out there at the moment on breath work. I can't remember the name of the guy. I just finished a book about breath work by a fellow with very curly hair. It looks like a little... I'm not going to go in there because I may end up interviewing him. I don't want to be rude. But <laughs> look into breath work and look into the correlation between slowing breath and calming the breath as your first port of call, especially when your thoughts are kind of running away with themselves and you find yourself getting nervous, you find yourself in panic mode, you find yourself with something coming up um, that you're nervous about. Maybe you've got an interview coming up and you just can't really slow down and you feel the nerves coming. The best place to start, which is what I have found so useful, is just to focus on your breath. Simply by focusing on breath, putting attention to breath is powerful in itself because what it's doing is it's taking your attention away from the ideas in your head. And no matter how many ideas you have and how clever you think the ideas are and how, how you're kind of one-upping your own thoughts, you're never gonna get there. The real solution to panic, to worry, is to put your attention to body, to put your attention to breath. Breath is the heartbeat of the body in a way it's, it's linked to heartbeat but it's it's very very physical breath and when you can get into the world of breath and out of the world of thought you're going to start calming down you're going to start um, disconnecting from subjectivity and you're going to get into reality you're going to get back into neutrality and that's where you want to be when you want to be your most creative self when you want to be your most expressive self it's not about trying to be clever it's not about trying to entertain people it's not about trying to sound intelligent when you want to be your most true self you want to be your most physical self write that down at the back of the class if you want to be your most expressive your most yourself self. If you want to be you, be more physical, get into your breath. Creativity will come up from that core um, well of awareness that is opened up when you can give your space, when you can give your thoughts and your mind some space. And the power is in breath work. The power is in 
um, using breath as a tool to get you back into the body. You can, of course, just, just stop thinking, but that's quite hard to do. The best way in, the best way to intercept thought is by getting into breath and simply slowing down breath. So what I do, what, one, one exercise you could do to slow yourself down if you're fi finding yourself panicky, and that's the key thing here, by the way, is slowing down. If, you, if you're anxious, it means you're, too, you're going too quick. There's something about your activity, your work, your mind process, it's, you're moving 100 miles an hour and you just can't keep up. That's why you're anxious, if anything, is because you just can't keep up with all these thoughts. It's like, what, where, do I, where do I hang here? What do I, where do I sit? I can't follow. So slow things down and do that by slowing the breath down. So spend um, five minutes before an, an anxious event or just five minutes here and there at intervals through the day. That, this is gonna be a, a, a game changer for you if you can do this. Uh, maybe set an alarm for five minutes, maybe three minutes, one minute, 30 seconds, whatever you want, whatever you can do to focus solely on breath. And you might find that your mind wanders out here and there, but focus on breath. Um, you could do the, um, the five second in breath, the five second out breath for a whole minute or for a full five minutes. Just by doing that, you're going to get your mind back into breath, back into physical, and you're going to find your creativity soaring, your, your anxiety going down and your ability to handle and face and tolerate uncertainty, um, just, just be there for you, you know? That's, that's, that's one of life's most powerful skills. And I wouldn't even call it a skill because we, we layer on difficulty, we layer resistance on to what's actually very automatic for us, which is just to be there in the present moment and to slow down and just be with reality. And when you can be with reality without any lenses, without any filters, without any Instagram filters in front of you, then you're gonna be able to see it in its totality. You will be able to see things for what they really are and things in their true sense. Look, at, look, look where I am. Look at that in a neutral sense. It's a pile of bricks, that's all it is. It's a pile of bricks. Some people might look at that and think, oh, it's a job, it means interviews, it means um, in social awkwardness in those rooms and I have to give presentations in, their, in those rooms, but actually it's just a monolith of space and bricks and cement. Okay, I'm running away with myself a little bit here. But slow down and use the power of breath work to slow your mind down. Understand the correlation between thoughts and breathing. And when you can really see that, you're gonna have a lot of, uh, a lot of power in your, in, your, in your world to be able to slow down when you need to and maybe not speed up in the first place. I'm completely stuck here, look, can't get out. Don't let that be your mind. Don't be stuck in your mind. Use breath work as a tool to slow yourself down as needed. And if you've got something nervous coming up, use it. Do five minutes of just focusing solely on breath. Uh, count your breaths, whatever. Get into the breath, get into physical, and you'll find your world changing. Good luck, guys.